All right. Today is Thursday, the 24th. Actually, it's it's late now, but uh, this is a recap of the 24th. And I had a uh, working day, so the, uh, the, the one of the joys of part-time trading is watching a day like today, kind of something that you practice for and, uh, and see it all unfold while you're at work and can't do anything about it. <laughs> so that was kind of the uh, way I felt about it today. I had a plan this morning um, coming into the open. I was expecting uh, a sell-off. And, and I was expecting, I was wanting to go long. Uh, we were going to have a, at this point in time, the, uh, the market was trading up here in the uh, uh, 60s and 70s range before the uh, market opened. I was anticipating a sell-off that these longs were going to take profit. And we're going to have a, uh, a trip down into this low volume node in the 50s and bounce and I was going to capture that bounce and then go from there. I also was very aware of this this top uh, high volume area that we had overnight and these uh, high volume nodes. So um, I was very conscientious of, of the obstacles here as well. So um, but anyway, at the, the first trade of the day and in the trade that I was anticipating was this sell-off into this low volume node and the bounce from it. And um, I'm going to show you that play. I got stopped out of it, and then I had to go to work. But the rest of it, uh, we had the bounce. We came up to the uh, that high volume node, and then we sold off, as you're going to see. Let me zoom out here. What a what a what a glorious day uh, as a trend day. If you could, as long as you can, uh, you know, stay with the trend, right? <laughs> That's the whole key to it here. So. Uh, one thing I want to keep in mind, the, um, the overnight high was up here at the 85s. It happened earlier in the European session open range. And then our overnight VPOC was at 75. And then our overnight low was somewhere in, somewhere down in here, uh, around 65 as well. Let's see where it was at. right there down there 62.50 there well, anyway so we uh, so I'd been anticipating this sell-off and it uh, it basically did what I was anticipating there for a short little while whoa uh, it came down into this general area I got long at 55 right at the P, uh, the, uh, the value area high so it's anticipating a bounce at that area which was also in that low volume node on a higher time frame. Uh, so it came down, it, uh, it gave me exactly what I was hoping for was a stop uh, stop run. We had some exhaustion. Uh, I ended up waiting over here, got long. It, it, it went a little bit lower. Uh, it, I was still in, it missed me like by a tick or two. Uh, and then I was able to get out at uh, with risk neutral, and then eventually got stopped out over here on on this fall, uh, and then of course it went higher. Not too long after I got out of it, that's when it uh, it climbed higher into this area. Now I went to work at this point, so I'm I'm totally out of the market. But by the time I got got to uh, work. We came up into the uh, the overnight low. We we pushed through it. We pulled back under it. You know, we played with it for a little while, but we eventually came back underneath a little after ten. And you can see we came up under and touched it, touched it again, or almost touched it, and then just did a swan dive. But if you look at the uh, where we had come from, you know, we, we did 65 uh, going back to to this area. Let's see where we at here, where am I myself here? We had these uh, these little little markers here that uh, was the heads up here, 
and that was also uh, I think Tom B was talking about that 65 area being a uh, a level for him as well. But on the uh, on the higher volume node, higher time frame area, that's uh, kind of a marker that I was looking out for. Anyway, it dove, <laughs> and it kept going, 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 and I was at work the whole time. And um, this was just a classic sell-off day, and. For me to come at the end of the day and go, oh, look at this, this beautiful trading day, and so easy, and all you had to do was this and this and this. Um, you know, that's the beauty of hindsight trading is that you, you can come back and do that, but you can also gain a lot of insight. But more importantly, the lesson that I get a lot of times comes from overnight and we never we never even got close to going back above the overnight low and once you once you have that understanding that we just had a monster day before let's look at that you know we had this monster rally come from don't you think that all of those all of those longs are going to be selling off so you know there's a point in time when when you you got to recognize that hey and and surrender to the fact that the trend is down or the trend is up or the trend is whatever but surrender to it and you know how do you how do you know when to surrender well you know I keep coming back to a lot of times the overnights, the overnights, the overnights, the overnights. And, uh, you know, at some point during the day of the RTH, if we're not trading above the overnight low, that should, that should be a hint. Hello, big hint there. So anyway, um, I'm going to sign off for now. Thanks for letting me ramble. Appreciate it. Have a great night.